Hello, ladies and gentlemen, you are tuning in to 9 o'clock news live. I am Austin Wagner, and today's main topic, we are going to talk about the 14th Amendment as well as some LGBTQ rights. Great topic, Austin. We have multiple uh, incoming interviews on LGBTQ. It really depends on who you're comparing them to. Um, so, like, I think when you compare them with, like, Scandinavia, Scandinavia is usually at the forefront, especially when it comes to social rights. Um, but there's a lot more conservative countries um, in like Eastern Europe, for example, um, parts of Asia, parts of the Middle East definitely have more conservative laws. The next interview is with Staff Sergeant Ferreira. He's in the United States Marine Corps on his views on LGBTQ. What does it mean to be American? What does it mean to be American? It means to not be selfish. It means to take care of your neighbor, take care of the kids that you see walking down the street from school, say hi to them, greet them. That's what it means to be American to me. Second question, do you agree with the statement the United States is progressive, a progressive nation in terms of, the, of civil and LGBT rights? I, I would say so. Okay. Um, what's your opinion on LGBT? You. My opinion is they're people just like you and I are. We bleed just like we all do. Uh, me personally, I don't discriminate. I have many family members that are part of that community. My best friend is, my uncle is, uh, so I don't really think much of it. Um, should we do more in high school to like support them? LGBTQ and get the word out there more or what should we do? I think that they should have more support just like the military should, just like all people from all races and all nationalities should. What are the military views on LGBTQ? Military views on that is the same thing as before. We, um, we don't see uh, gender, we don't see sexual orientation, we don't see height, we don't see different colors, no, we don't see different races, we only see one thing and that's, that's the color green. Let's ask Dean of Students, Mr. Schwab, what he thinks about this. Do you think that there's discrimination in America and in our school systems? I believe that there's discrimination across the country because people aren't aware that their thoughts and beliefs mm -hmm. cause them to act a certain way. Okay. Um, that their process, their values that generate their beliefs mm -hmm. and then formulate their actions can cause a discriminating effect towards people that are different and they hold their values above the values of others. Okay. And now be hearing from Counselor Ms. Casillas at Grays Lake Central High School on her views on LGBTQ. Thank you. So at our school we offer a club called SAGE and that's for students that identify as LGBTQ or students who are interested in supporting that group of students. Um, we also do have um, support groups here that are more social emotional support groups that can help students who are struggling with maybe some of the stress and anxiety that may revolve around that. We will now hear from Jared Polis on his views and what should happen at schools on LGBTQ. To provide a, a, a safe and civil learning environment for uh, for transgender students, and I think that there are some school districts that have worked with uh, families of transgender kids, and they have arrangements that uh, that they're uh, on board with. Um, but I think it's important to have best practices, and we don't let schools have a different restroom for white kids and black kids uh, under the same uh, under the same argument. Uh, as far we will now be hearing from Mr. Schatz and Betsy DeVos on their opinion on LGBT. 
for, and I'll say it again, that schools that receive federal funds must follow federal law. And I just said federal law is foggy. So in your understanding of federal law, will such discrimination be allowed? On areas where law, the law is unsettled, this department is not going to be issuing decrees. So that please is a matter for, answer the question. That is, that is, is that a matter for Congress and the courts. Is discrimination going to be allowed or not allowed? You cannot discriminate on the basis of race, religion, creed in Colorado, sexual orientation. And so while the Colorado law allows for uh, bakers, for example, to not put certain words on a cake, they could say, we're not going to make a cake with a devil on it. But you have to apply that. We have some fun facts to share with you, ladies and gentlemen. 75% of LGBTQ youth say that their peers do not have a problem with identifying themselves as LGBT. According to our chart, 6 in 10 people in the LGBT community experience homophobic abuse verbally in their lifetime, 2 in 10 experience physical homophobic abuse, and 1 in 10 experience other types of homophobia. As you can see on the charts for same-sex marriage, Massachusetts is at 62% and Nevada will be at 50%. All in all, we the people at the news, we believe that for the topic LGBTQ and if we should have more rights, we believe that LGBTQ, the community, they should have more rights towards them, making them have more freedom and being more comfortable out there to express themselves the way that they want to.